Hello everyone, Thiago Dot here and this is the first video in a series about using Substance Painter for the Dota Workshop. Um, so I think I should start about talking why you should use Substance Painter or why try it. Um, I name it three things that I really like to use it on Substance. Is the ability to bake by match name. I'm gonna say about that later. Um, the use of smart materials and masks workflow and the way it exports files so um, basically big by mesh name is it will consider the name of the mesh that you're using and you can bake everything together so you consider the occlusion on all the meshes but will not clip uh, like on this guy here separate right here a uh, sort to show um, how it works sometimes we need to make uh, to avoid the poly count especially in Dota Dota have a really um, reduced poly count to work so sometimes we make things like that we make mesh clipping on oh, this particular one is not a big problem because it's uh, it's a static mesh it will not move uh, but sometimes when it's animated like a shoulder pad over another plate it, it can be a really problematic so if you bake it all together you will see sometimes it will get the, the things that are, is on top it will get on the bottom on the the, the other part so it will not work really, really well on this one here I could name this like blade low and if I have a, a mesh called high low I will explain later uh, it will bake and we will not consider this one on bake just the occlusion so you will have the occlusion happening on the borders but the the normal map will not be affected that's really good uh the other thing is is more materials in the mask workflow it's uh it's really interesting like you can bake everything like normal map uh or space uh cavity and everything like that and if you decide to change your mesh you will need to do everything again and you need to rework all the textures again if you're using more materials with the the way that substance painter works with masks it will update for you so it's really really handy to do, use that and export a setup I'm gonna show you um, for example this guy here you have like uh, six pieces I'm not considering the, the body where's the body uh, okay here here's the body I'm not considering this one because this one is already in Dota so I have a lot of other pieces uh, the sword I showed before this is this one with the wings it takes some time to load, that's okay. Um, let me export. So here I have a setup that I made it, I can show you later. Um, I have all the textures here and I have the defined size here. See? So it's already exporting for me. Um, I'll push this. In Dota you have some... So I hope I, I'm not going too fast. In Dota, you have some defined texture size for each piece. So, this guy here is not square, this is square, this is not square. So, it can get a little tricky to work with everything, make every work everything together, and then you have different sizes to explore and things like that. So, in Substance Painter, I like to define like four times uh, the size. So, uh, 256 it becomes uh, 124 and uh, this one the double and let me show let me get this head head here is uh 1024 1024 so what i can do here is just hit export i just waited it's really fast open folder and it exported for me 66 texture look at this it's really fast it's really fast and it's all named correctly uh, the naming convention I already defined it based on Dota so when I when I decide to load it it will load everything in one click that's really handy <laughs> <laughs> 